In today's video, here is a nice and quicker problem regarding arithmetic and number theory. Here is the following statement. For all n as non-negative integers, satisfy this following equation. We have n factorial plus number 7 equals x cubed. So we are going to determine the solution uh, for this equation as a n and x as a pair of the solution. We are simply going to solve this one by using the Majlou arithmetic here. So by the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and support the channel. Now let's jump into the solution. So if n is super equal to 6, because 6 factorial equals 1 is multiplied by 2 is multiplied by 3 is multiplied by 4 is multiplied by 5 is multiplied by 6. Okay. I'm going to extract number 9 out of here. So I'm going to split this 6 into 2. So we know 6 equals 2 is multiplied by 3. So by putting this these two three together is given as 9. Okay. I will have 9 is multiplied by this box. So this box is the bunch of numbers which left after 9. Okay. So this one is clearly is a congruent to 0 mod 9. For all n is superior to 6, n factorial is a congruent to 0 mod 9 because of this one. Okay. Get n factorial is a congruent to 0 mod 9. Adding number 7 on this one, I get n factorial plus 7. Now we know n factorial plus number 7. It's clearly is a congruent to 7 mod 9. Because I'm adding just number 7 on this one. It gives us this one. Also, we have an equality. We have the left side of this equation equal to x cubed. Okay. So in the other word, you get n factorial plus number 7 which is a congruent to 7 at the same time is a congruent to x cubed mod 9. Now what's left? We need just to check the possible values of x cubed when you reduce this one to the mod 9. Okay? So the only way to check this one by the chart. So here is the following chart. We get the following values. We get x, x cubed. We get the following values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth. So we get the, here 0 is giving us 0, 1, 1, 2 is 8. 8 is the same as minus 1, mod 9, because we have 8 is 1 less than 9. So for 3 cubed, 27, 27 is 0, because 9 divides 27. 4 cubed is 64, 64 is 1 more 63. So we get a remainder number 1. For 5, which is 5 cubed, which is 125, which is 5 squared, is multiplied by 5. 5 squared is minus 2, is minus 2, because is 2 less than 27, is multiplied by 5, which is a congruent to minus 10. By adding number 9 here, I get minus 1. This one is a congruent to minus 1, I get minus 1 here. For 6 is clearly is 0 because 9 is multiplied by 6. Because for 6 cubed, it's clearly is 0. And so on and so forth. We don't need other values. We are going to stop here. This x cubed is belongs to this set. Minus 1, 0, and 1. So, but here, we get number 7 as a reminder. We have absence of number 7. Okay. If, so, be careful here. Sometimes you get minus number 1. You don't pay attention to the number. Then you will have equality here. That's mean we have a solution for this equation. But here, since we have minus number one, we need to add number nine because nine minus one is eight. This one is equivalent eight mod nine or minus one mod nine. It's the same thing. Since we get number eight here, but we have number seven here. So which means this equation doesn't accept any solution above this point. So which means n must be in this set. Zero, one, two, three, four, five only like this now let's get rid of this one and check case by case for n equals zero or one you get number one here one plus seven which is eight eight is the same as two cubed so which means you have a first solution you get n equals zero equivalent x equals two also we get n equals one equivalent x equals two okay both of them are giving us the same solution for the next case, n equals 3. For n equals 3, 
I get 6, 6 plus 7, which is 13. 13 is not going to be written on the form of the cubed, which is not solution. For n equals 4, 4 factorial is 24. 24 plus 7, which is 31. 31 is not the solution, okay? Let's check the final value. 5 factorial is 120. 120 plus 7 plus 7 is not a perfect cube, okay? So, which means the only two solutions are we found this one, okay? So I have done this problem, by the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and support the channel. And thank you for watching, I will see you next video. Bye.